warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, good day to everyone, especially to our dear students. You welcome back to Acid Biology channel. So in this video today, we will focus on one of the very important organelles that are a groups in uh, oxidative organelles. So this one we call as a paroxysm. So how do we know that uh, which one is a paroxysm in the cells? So we can look at in terms of their structure. So let's look at here. Okay, this is a spherical in shape. So that shape is spherical. Okay, and this paroxysm is a, a specialized metabolic compartments, and they have a single membranes. They also a membrane-bound organelle, and they only have a single membrane. Okay, so the special or the characteristic of this paroxysm. They have an enzyme. A lot of enzyme inside the paroxysm. So one of them, we can say that it's a catalyst. So we know that the catalyst is to break down. Okay, catalyst. So this enzyme, they have the ability to remove the hydrogen atoms from various of the substrate, especially the harmful substance, and then it will transfer them into oxygen. So it will produce hydrogen peroxide or H2O2. So as we know that H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide is definitely is the toxic and harmful to the cell. So what the function or what the catalyst do in peroxysm, okay, so it will isolate the H2O2 and then break down this H2O2 into H2O water and half of oxygen. Okay, so we can look at the equation here. We can write down the equation here. Okay, let's look at this one. Okay, we have a H2O2. Okay, and then by using catalyst, by using the catalyst as an enzyme, Okay, here catalyst and it will break down into H2O or water molecules and then plus half of oxygen molecules. So half because we want to get the uh, balanced equation. Okay, so this water okay, we release in the cells and this oxygen this oxygen atom will be used by the paroxysm for the next process. Uh, so paroxysm also they have a function in breakdown of fatty acid or lipids. So they can use this oxygen. And uh, the fatty acid after the breakdown process into a smaller molecules, they will be transported to the mitochondria and will be used as a food for the cellular respiration. So we know that the cellular respiration, they will use the oxygen as one of their reactant. Okay? And uh, we can uh, say that the liver and the kidney cells, the kidney organs, they have a lot of uh, paroxysm. Why? The reason because of their function. So this organ like liver and uh, kidney, okay? just look at that liver cells. The function is detoxify all the harmful substance like alcohol or drugs okay? so that the paroxysm inside the liver cells will help okay, to break down all the harmful substance like hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen in them. Okay, here. So this is actually the observation under light microscope. Okay, so here we look at the structure of chloroplast. Okay, and this one is the mitochondria, and we found that this organelle is a paroxysm. So remember that the shape are spherical and they have a single membrane. Okay, a single membrane. So there are single membrane. Okay, as a at the outer uh, layer. That's a paroxysm. Alright. 
Next, okay, we focus on the organelles okay, that are present in the cells. So, this group we call as a cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton is actually the fibers that are uh, exist in the cytoplasm of cells. Okay, it will form a network of fibers. So, what's uh, the function of this group, uh, cytoskeleton? So, we can look at here. Okay, it can helps in the cell structures and also cell activities. Cell structures, okay, maybe in, in the terms of uh, anchoring many organelles, anchoring or we say that it will fix, okay, fix the location of the organelles inside cells. So that's the function of the cytoskeleton. Okay, we look at here the types of uh, cytoskeleton, okay. We uh, have three types of cytoskeleton. The first one is a uh, microtubule. So we know that microtubules is uh, the thickest cytoskeleton. Okay, and then the second one we have groups of microfilaments, okay? or also known as actin filament. So this one is a thinnest uh, my cytoskeleton, and the last one is in the middle range. Okay. Their diameter is at the middle range the size, okay, uh, we known as uh, intermediate filaments. Okay, so we look at one by one in the next slide. Okay, as we can see here, is the structure of uh, cytoskeleton inside the cells within the cytoplasm. So here is the here is the microtubules, the green one. So they are located within the cells. And then the intermediate filaments. Okay, intermediate filaments okay, is uh, referred to the orange one. Okay, they are scattered from a network of fibers. And also the presence of actin filament. Okay, the red one in this structure. And also, okay, we can uh, see that the uh, organelle mitochondria and uh, endoplasmic reticulum that are located or fits into their location. Why? Because of the presence okay, uh, these three types of cytoskeleton. So it helps the organelles to fit at their location. Next, okay, in terms of the subunits okay, for the actin filaments, okay, the, their subunits okay, are arranged in the twisted form. Okay, like this one lah. Okay, and then for microtubules, they are arranged. Okay, the subunit are arranged and then form a tube or hollow tube. Okay. And for the intermediate filaments, okay, they consist of the keratin subunit. Okay, and this is the arrangement of the subunit in intermediate filaments. Okay. How about for the description? We look at one by one. Okay. Uh, before that, okay, we look at uh, what else the function of cytoskeleton. Okay. Firstly, it's about the uh, support the cells and maintains its shape. Okay. And certain of cytoskeleton, like microtubule, it will interact with motor protein in order to produce motility or movement okay so inside the cells what happened okay the vesicles will travel or move along the track that are made up by microtubule or cytoskeleton here is the example so let's say this is a vesicle maybe transport vesicle Okay, so in order to move that vesicle or helps in the movement of vesicles, okay, the molecular motors, okay, which refers to the vesicle transported along the microtubule. So here is the microtubule. In a simple way, we can say that microtubule provide a pathway, okay, as a pathway that can helps in the movement of vesicle along with the motor protein that we call as a tiny okay right so here one by one for the cytoskeleton microtubule their subunit we call as a tubulin. ok 
okay, hybrid polymer. So they have a hollow tubes. So the main function of a microtubules, we can look at here one by one, maintenance of the cell shape and helps in cell motility or movement, just like in cilia or flagella. And then the chromosome movement during cell division, mitosis and meiosis, and also for the organelle movement, that one for microtubules. Next, this example for the microtubules, especially in cytosome and centrio. So in many cells, microtubules can grow up from a centrosome that are located near the nucleus. So this centrosome, they are actually made up of microtubules that are organized or arranged it at the center. So in animals, the centrosome, they has a pair of centrioles. So each central they have nine triplet of microtubules arrangement. So what is mean by nine triplet? We will look at in the next slide. Okay, here is the observation of the structure of microtubules in the uh, under the microscope. Okay, so we can we can look at here is the arrangement of the microtubules in the nine triplets of microtubules arranged in a ring. Okay, we can look at uh, more clear in the next slide. Okay, so here we can look at the microtubules triplet. They have nine set of microtubules that are arranged in a triplet. So triplet means that one to three. They are arranged in a triplet set. So they have nine. Okay, nine set. So for centrioles, okay, each centriole is composed of nine triplets of microtubules. So centrioles usually not found in plant cell, but in animal cells, it's very helpful to organize the microtubules. Okay, they are present in the animal cells and helps during the cell division. And next, okay, we have. Uh, example in uh, cilia and flagella that move in the sorry that helps in the movement. So we know that the flagella, the flagella and cilia both are uh, involved in the movement or helps in the movement of uh, or, uh, organisms or cells. Okay, let's say for flagella in sperm cells. Okay, and then cilia maybe this one refer to the. Uh, what we call that one is a uh, like paramecium. Okay, other than centrioles, microtubules also present in the structure of cilia and flagella. So cilia and flagella both come, uh, share a common uh, ultra structure in terms of uh, a core of that microtubules. They are covered by the structure of plasma membrane, and then the basal bodies that encode the cilia. Of flagella, okay, they have their arrangement of microtubules, and they also have a protein, a motor protein that we call as a dynein. So this will drive the bending movement of the cilia of flagella. Okay, so in this slide we can look at that the arrangement of microtubules in the cilia, okay, and also in the basal body. So we look at under the microscope, their cross section, it will show that the arrangement of microtubule a little bit different. Okay, in terms of the arrangement in the uh, outer layer, okay, let's say for the cross section of cilia as well as flagella, they have outer microtubule doublet. So it means that a set of microtubule, they only have two microtubule. Okay, arranged side by side and they, all, they also have nine sets and at the center they have a central microtubule okay? and the central okay, we connect by a dynein proteins to the outer part of the microtubules that one in the cilia okay for basal body if you look at the cross section they have a nine triplets just like in central so nine set 
Okay, and each side they have triplet of microtubule, and at the center they do not have any microtubule. So the arrangement in cilia and flagella we see that they have nine plus two arrangement of microtubule. Okay, we can look at here this one nine plus two arrangement of microtubule for cilia and flagella. But then for the basal body, the arrangement of a flag, uh, sorry, the arrangement of the microtubule, we can see that they are nine plus O or zero. So O means that at the center they do not have a microtubule. Right. How about for microfilaments? So microfilaments or active filaments, just subunits. Okay. We know that is a active subunit. Okay, we call as an active subunit. So the function more or less okay, like uh, the first type of cytoskeleton just now, microtubule, uh, maintenance of a cell shape, and then it helps in the muscle contraction, okay, and also cytoplasmic streaming in plant cells, cell motility or movement, and also helps during division of the animal cells. So here is the example for microfilament in our muscle cell. So the arrangement of actin and myosin filaments okay, is actually helps the movement or contraction and relaxation process by our muscle cells. Okay, okay as you can see here is another example. The function of microfilaments that helps in the movement of a cells or organism. So here we have a amoeba. So amoeba, the user pseudopodia, okay, the, that helps in the movement. So it's also helped by the presence of a actin subunit or microfilament inside the cytoplasm. So here, okay, is a network of the actin. In filament, so localized contractions, localized contraction helped by the actin and myosin. So this one also helps the movement of amoeba. Okay, and the pseudopodia that are move and contract also helped by the actin subunit. Okay, in these uh, organisms, and then. The second, uh, the third example is the cytoplasmic streaming in plant cell. So what is mean by cytoplasmic streaming is actually a circular flow of the cytoplasm within the cells. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, last but not least, the types of cytoskeleton we have intermediate filaments. So intermediate filaments they have keratin subunit. Okay, or fibrous uh, subunit of protein and they are coiled okay, into uh, cables so this is uh, uh, the size okay, 8 to 12 nanometer and they have one of the several different proteins that made up their subunit and their function okay, for the maintenance of a cell shape and then uh, specific or focus on the encourage of the nucleus or other organelles inside the cells uh, to fix at their location and then uh, certain um, the formation of the nuclear lamina inside the nucleus so that's all for uh, cytoskeleton